So when I uh, got back to uh, the Westinghouse plant uh, after some short period of time, an engineering manager was transferred back to the defense center here at the airport. And, short, and he was made, he was appointed the top quality manager of the defense center. Defense center had 17,000 employees, so he had a, a high position. A uh, short time later, I was asked to be transferred back under him. So I, I went back to uh, the defense center again. And uh, shortly after going back, remember I said the American Society for Quality? <coughs> they notified me that the inspection division membership had elected me chairman of the division. Well, when you're chairman of the division, it requires 100% of your time, which means your employer has to get involved. So Westinghouse agreed that I take the position of chairman of the inspection division for two years. Westinghouse paid me for two years. Uh, I was my own boss at Westinghouse. Uh, they covered all of my travel expenses, never asking me why I was going, where. All I had to do is turn in a request for an airline ticket. So at the end of two years, I had to start working for Westinghouse. Well, that didn't last very long because the American Society for Quality, every year the first week of May, they have a, a technical program uh, conference. And it's the first week of May every year in a different U.S. city. Uh, the, the society asked Westinghouse to borrow an employee for two years to plan the technical conference for 1982, which would be in Detroit. Well, the top manager asked me to take that assignment, which I accepted. So now I'm working on years three and four of no Westinghouse work, but being paid by Westinghouse. And again, I was free to travel anywhere I wanted. My top manager never asked me why, how long. All I had to do was turn in a request for an airline ticket, and I tried not to abuse that liberty. But if I wanted to go to San Francisco, all I had to do was ask for a San Francisco ticket. So uh, at the end of two years, the conference must have been very well because when I went back to work for Westinghouse, I was only working again shortly when the society asked Westinghouse again to borrow an employee for two more years to plan the 1985 conference, which would be in Baltimore. And my top manager asked me to do it again. So now I'm into years five and six of no Westinghouse work, but being paid by Westinghouse. Again, my own boss at Westinghouse, free to travel anywhere I wanted. It was, I was the envy of many employees uh, <laughs> because there was no one else ever had that kind of assignments. So uh, at the, while I was planning the 1985 technical conference, I thought 1985, that's a good time to retire. So the conference was the first week of May and I decided to retire the last day of May, 1985. So I've been now retired for 36 years. While I was employed, and I can't say I worked, uh, <laughs> I was employed for 33 years. So I've been retired longer than I've worked. And I'm, and I'm still drawing a Westinghouse retirement. So now, uh, so that's where I stand right now uh, after retiring. So uh, uh, I want to uh, uh, add, uh, these three managers had to select me for some reason. Those three managers never knew each other, but they selected me over other employees for a certain reason that they saw. And I want to pay tribute today to what I think those three managers saw. When I was in the Hershey Industrial School for my 11 years, Mr. Hershey taught me to be responsible for my actions and reliable in what I do. And I think those two uh, characteristics carried over into my employment. And I think that's what those three managers, 
there had to be something different in me why they selected me over other employees. And I want to pay tribute and thank you then to Mr. Hershey for making it all possible. So uh, that's where we stand there. Now I want to close with a uh, story on a miracle. Uh, when my father died, uh, my father's sister decided to help my mother as much as she could. She had young children of her own. And uh, the problem was uh, my mother still had to find a home for us. So while my, uh, uh, I guess my aunt was helping my mother, my mother found a home in the Hershey Industrial School. The problem my mother ran into was my aunt passed away real, real young. So my mother was still left with uh, no help. Uh, when my aunt passed away, my mother's family and my father's family, they lost track of each other. We never knew from that day on what was happening in either family. Um, back uh, many years ago, my late sister and her husband decided to purchase a home here in Saverna Park. And uh, it paid dividends in Saverna Park, not in any other community. Uh, after some period of time, my sister joined a Saverna Park ladies a social group that had breakfast meetings. And she started to make friends with different ladies. And she whittled it down to a few ladies that she really made new friends with. And out of that new friend, she had one lady that she became really friendly with. And though my sister and this new friend then started doing things together. And one day, my uh, sister suggested they go to lunch together. And during lunch, my sister, oh, and the day they went was very important. Not the day before, not the day after, but that particular day. During lunch, my sister told the, her new friend that that day was her grandson's birthday. So you can see it wasn't her grandson's birthday, it wasn't the day before, the day after. So, grandson's birthday. So, uh, she told the, uh, her friend that that day was her grandson Brady's birthday. When the friend heard the name Brady, she said, oh, she said, uh, my mother's maiden name was Brady. And she said, and I have a sister in San Antonio, Texas. That day we found out the two families that were separated for roughly 70 years found each other. What a miracle that was. Uh, and we had a family reunion of some of the members coming together. And I want to pay good thank you today the final conclusion of all that is that in this room is the final conclusion of that miracle. I want to say thank you to Timmy, to Jeffrey, to Bob, and to Brady for coming from San Antonio, Texas in the Brady family. So the Brady two families are together today. And I want to thank you. Thank you for coming the distance from San Antonio just for this particular day. Thank you very much. I want to thank all of you for being here today. I'm sorry I can't thank each one of you individually, but I want to know that I really appreciate your coming. Thank you very much. Dessert is coming, incidentally.
dessert time. <laughs> uh, also, I wanted to, uh, to thank people who went to a lot of work for this, and for Keith, Ken's son, and for Michelle, Ken's daughter. I want to give them a hand also. <laughs> Cupcakes, and so uh, uh, whoever gets there first gets two. So uh, there you go. Go help yourself to the cupcakes. Enjoy the rest of the day visiting with Ken. Thank you.